All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we have a new plan today. We waste so much time trying to catch our bait before we go and catch a shot. <clears throat> that we catch a shot. Yeah. We got a tip from somebody that there's a, a live bait shop right there. And I'm hoping, just hoping, it's not a fact. They got something in there. We don't have to spend all day trying to catch bait. We can just go get some real quick and try and Every time we put big bait on yesterday, we were getting hit hard. But the problem was we weren't catching enough bait to keep big bait in the water. So exactly. if we can eliminate that all together by being able to keep big bait in the water all day, I think that it can happen. What this right here is called, it's ingenuity. We got some bait. So we got what we were looking for. We got some mullet. We got, what's this one? <clears throat> this is big one. This is got. all mullet. Those are big mullet. These are smaller mullet. We got big mullets. And then we got some smaller mullets now. We gotta go back and thaw these out. We don't know if they're gonna work or not, man, but there's only one way to find out. What are you thinking, man? I'm thinking it'll be good. I mean, the guy was really cool. We told him, you know, this is kind of out of our element. He said there's a big mullet run going on right now. Yeah, so. so. He said the best odds of getting hooked up on a shark down here and what he would use is the same bait. So. And he said that was a good location where we're fishing at. So the only thing we can do is get out there, get this bait in the water and, and see if we're gonna get bit. This might've saved us though. Might have. Not a fact. It might have, it might not have. Only one way to find out. Dude, 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 dude. Did you see that? I'm about to set the hook. You see how hard it got hit? I just got hit again dragging it. The drag on this thing slips so much, dude. I don't know. Now oh, there's something on here. I don't know what it is. All right, looks like we got a whiting. We're actually fishing with chunks of mullet. And I figured it would have been like a shark or a ray bent down that hard, but it's actually a whiting. That's cool though, because that's more bait for us. Well, I might as well cut him up and use him as fresh bait on that thing. I mean, yeah, he took the bait, but this is fresh, you know what I'm saying? I got y'all staring at the ground while I'm cutting up this fish. That's crazy, y'all. I seen the rod jerk hard, and when I went to set the hook, the drag wasn't set, so I just spun a bunch of drag, and I'm not sure if this was the fish that initially hit it or not, but uh, still pretty cool. It's better than not catching anything. Good that we're using that mullet, but anytime you can get a fresh live bait out there that's got all this blood all over it and stuff, that's better for shark fishing. I have never seen a whiting make a rod bend that far. Make sure to tighten this drag up good. If you set the hook on that rod, man, I'd go as far as like maybe holding the line against the reel. You know what I'm saying? I thought I had something, dude. I could be caught on something. I don't know if I'm caught or if I have something. But I can't pull it in, dude. I can't tell. Dang, whatever it is, they took one of the baits off. Dang it, I had something on. Our fighting something, you didn't see me? And then I says to him, let's even the odds. <laughs> hey, appreciate it, man. What are you trying to catch? Supposed to catch the yeah? Tore them up. Like, like filled that red cooler up. Really? Wow. Well, I appreciate the bait, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. We have moved to a way deeper part of this beach right here. We've moved to a way deeper part now. We moved all the way down the beach. From what we know, if you step in this water about five foot, you're about chest deep. About chest deep right there. And you gotta be real careful when you get in. The riptide will pull you out. But I'm letting you know now. I think I think it's game on. But there's no there's no way to go. Walker, here we go. Oh my god, he let it go, dude. 
Oh, he's still on, he's still on. He's still on. It's a shark, dude. Pretty sure this is a shark. Dude, look how bad this thing's fighting me, man. That's a bigger A. Mine's all tangled in it, too. Should I just pull it up or what? We're down here trying to shark fish, and I thought I finally got a shark bite because of how hard that thing hit it. Right there, that's the bar. That'll hurt you. It's the Stingray wrapped both of our lines. Like, I hooked it, but it got Walker's line, too. And it's like right there at the business end of this thing. I don't like that very much. Yeah, so I'm about to push him back in. So you seen it was like a tangled up mess. I thought I had a shark. That thing, did you see how hard the rod was killed over to you? Yeah, yeah, I the shark too. Uh, I guess that makes waiting four hours to get bit worth it, right? Is it tide coming in? It's a good thing though, right? You just need one, dude, just one. I don't care who catches, I just want to see it. You know? Good, good. That's it, dude. Dude, the drag, the drag, no, no! Look, all the braids gone. I tried to grab it and hurt myself, dude. You all right? That wasn't coming, dude. That had to be a monster, dude. All the braid was gone on there. That's why you probably couldn't get the leverage on it. No, the drag was flipping. Remember, that's the bad rod, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I would, I would have let, let the drag slip off. I did. I couldn't help it. Dude, no, it's going. Dude, it's going. It's a big fish. You know what I mean? You're not gonna be able to get leverage on that fish, dude. No, I tried to stop it when it was going because it was. I saw that it was getting oh, unspooled. That was a shark, dude. Down to one rod, dude. Just a second ago, I was messing with this rod, and then I seen this other rod fall over, and instantly, for some reason, we've known all day that the drag was messed up on it, and it just started pulling line straight up. Like as soon as I set the hook, it just unspooled so quick that I tried to stop it with my thumb. I ended up burning my thumb real bad with rope burn. And that was for sure a shark, man. That was the closest we've gotten in the last couple hours. And I don't know. We're down to one rod now. This is the last rod we got. So if anything happens to this one, I guess we go home disappointed. Think it's a big stinger or a shark? Let him take drag, let him take drag, let him take drag. That's a shark. He's running this way. Yeah, you wanna stay with him. Get leverage on it. Oh, uh, I think I got a shark right now. He's fighting hard. Pulling so much drag. Finally. It happened. He's right there. Where? He's in right there. See my line? Finally. I went and paid the meter and we only had another hour to fish and Walker's hooked up. Please don't lose this fish, bro. He's right there, look. Think he's got a big shark on? I'm just giving you a heads up just in case well, it tries to run this yeah, way. Yeah. Got my first shark, y'all. It's a bonnet head, dude. Make sure 
make sure his pectorals are pinned down. We had one completely oh. spool us right, like about ahead. 30 minutes ago. You do it before he passes, before he dies. Anybody got a phone they can see? Feel it? Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. pinch hard, pick him up. Good. Can you get it with your uh, GoPro? Yeah. Whoa, man, you almost got Yeah, 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 yeah. Drop him, don't let him drop on your feet. All right, All right. we're good? Yeah, we're good, man. Thank you. I appreciate you helping me. I guess that's one way to do it. Hey, appreciate it, man. Sorry for uh, stopping y'all. No, man, no hell no, man. We're all out here fishing, man. We're all having a good time. No problem, man. guys. If you guys hook up again, just holler at all us, right, man. All right, appreciate we're, you, man. Anything you got. I want to try and possibly get me one, dude. Oh, my God, dude. I would say the one you just caught was probably between three and a half and four foot, right? Would you say so or no? Yeah, did you see me grab it by the tail and drag it out of the water, dude? You got that on video, too, right? Dude, right there, right there, you got something's on, dude. Did you see that? You'll feel it. Yeah, it's something small. Got the big. If it was a shark, he'd already be on, right? Yeah. Did you set the hook really hard? I set it as hard as I could. I'm gonna get this back out there. Dude, what? I'm kinda worried, like, I'm not gonna be able to get hooked up. Like, it's gonna start raining on us, and we only got, like, until seven. It's flash proof. You're good, dog. Sucks, hey, man, because I feel, like, pressure now. I feel so much pressure now, man. I literally walked back up and watched him set the hook on this fish after going to pay a meter more to park. As soon as he got back, I think, was it about time you got back? I don't know where you were. I was literally standing behind you right when it happened. I just felt the hardest tug ever, and I just jumped up and I set the hook as hard as I could and chased. Didn't tell me last time. It's not his fault, but I knew, I didn't know I was supposed to run with it, but this time I chased it all the way down, managed to put him on, so now it's just, it's this guy's turn to do it now. Hopefully. If not, then... It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. It made the trip worth it. Here we go, dude. He's on, dude. Got him. I'm hooked up. Y'all, I'm hooked up now. Oh my God. Clutch, dude. Clutch. Came in last second. Hopefully this is a shark as well. If it's a stingray, I'm not going to be too happy, but I need to touch a shark. Yeah, dude. Oh, God, dude. No. No, he broke me off. No. You run with it? Yeah, I was giving him everything that I could. I don't think it was the knot, dude. I think it was the strain that the shark you caught put on it. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. It was still an awesome trip. I got to watch him catch his first shark, which is crazy. Literally walk back up to him fighting. He had one spool him. That's on video. Dude. Then I was trying to let I him get bad, one. I tried to stop the drag with my thumb. I've caught him before, so I was trying to let Walker get one. He finally got one, and then it was my turn. And now we get to go back to good old North Augusta. Well, Augusta for you, North Augusta for me. Okay. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> so, super embarrassing fact. I'm back home at my crib now. And see, the last day that we fished, I caught a shark, right? We had to drive three hours back to my house, drop me off. We didn't get home till really late, and we hadn't even filmed an outro yet. The plan was to film an outro when we got back to my house. But since we were just so tired and we were exhausted and... We planned on fishing like three days later, something like that, and it ended up not working out because, you know, personal issues and all that, but we never filmed an outro. So now I'm having to do it by myself without Chase present here with me. Typically, I like to have Chase here with me when I film my intros and my outros, but he can't be here. He's at work, so I gotta do it all by myself, by my lonesome. Half the entertainment is gone for today. That's so sad, but it's whatever. So last day, I finally caught a shark, finally. You know, it was really sad is because we started on one side of the beach and had to move over to the other side because we weren't having any luck. And now we moved all the way down and we found a place where there was no one else at besides me and Chase, obviously. And we decided we would just start chucking lines out there right off the bat, he catches a stingray. We were like, oh man, 
we're about to get lit out here. It's about to get crazy, right? But then we just waited and waited and nothing happened. Finally, hooked up into something. I think it was massive. It had to be massive. It had to be way bigger than the shark that I caught. I don't know what it was. I don't even know if it was a shark. It could have been a massive ray. But either way, I would have been stoked. So he completely unspooled my line, took all the line right off of it. That was 100% braid right there. Either way, he's unspooled me all the way down. He like literally, he just kept pulling and pulling and pulling. I tried to tightening the drag and nothing worked. I even stuck my thumb on it and it ended up giving me a burn on the end of my thumb and it hurt really bad all day. So I had that friction burn on my thumb. Then what do you know? I sat there, I was all sad. I was bummed out. I was pouting like a little baby. Chase had to go pay the meter. And so I'm sitting there by myself. I'm like, dang, if I hook into this shark, I'm gonna be screwed. And what I didn't know when I hooked the first one was that you gotta run with the shark down the beach you can't just like you can't stand there and fight it you gotta we gotta run with him let him pull he comes back and sees me fighting a shark and boy that was one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me i've never caught a shark before so when i actually did i was just so stoked and i tried ever so hard to not lose that shark i was not losing it again he runs down the beach tells some people who had their lines in the water that the shark is pulling me all the way down the beach and we need to get their lines out of the water so shark doesn't get all tangled up in their stuff. I didn't really know what I was doing and Chase was trying to film. So these people helped us out, got him off the line for me and I got to hold it for a minute. And it was just so surreal. It was one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. You know, it's not even that it was strong. It was just the fact that it's a shark. When you think of a shark, you don't think anything like, oh, how sweet. No, it's a shark, bro. It's a freaking shark. And I thought it was a hammerhead. Turns out it was a bonnet head, but it's still a shark. So I don't care. Either way, that was one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. We'll definitely be going back. That was not 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 be the last time we go to tybee so i hope you guys like this video we're going fishing in a couple more days i hope you like this video subscribe if you like my channel if you like my video go ahead and smash that like button for your boy and uh i'll see you guys next time peace